Well, Ron, you mentioned the high drama in 1979. Clearly, there was high drama here today in day number 99 of the lockout, a meeting of the Board of Governors, which went for over seven hours today, at which time they announced they had rejected the last proposal of the Players Association by a vote of 19 to 7. Uh, the Board uh, has, as a result of the meeting, authorized me to make a counterproposal to the NHLPA. Uh, I have called Bob Good now and told him that uh, he will be receiving such a counterproposal from me in the next couple of hours. Actually, he may have it already. Uh, and this proposal that we're making tries to incorporate as much as possible the players' uh, last offer to the league. Uh, the board also voted uh, to cancel the season, effective noon on Tuesday, January 10th, in the event the agreement is not reached. Uh, our offer to the players will and does not contain any tax. It does not contain a cap. It provides unrestricted free agency for veterans, and it uh, provides for the retention of arbitration for a certain segment of the players. We hope that the players want to play, and it's now up to the players whether or not we can start the season. And joining me now live is the Commissioner, Gary Bettman. Uh, it was described as emotional. Can you uh, tell us a little bit more about the nature of the meetings today? Well, we, uh, the board, uh, decided to give full and careful consideration to all of the issues, the players' proposal, the implications of accepting and rejecting it. Uh, I encouraged the meeting where the owners were to ask every question they had in mind, to make every comment, to give every thought, uh, because uh, these are very serious times and a very serious issue, and we wanted to have a fair, open, candid dialogue about uh, the future of this league. Did you at any time today threaten to cancel the, uh, the 1995 season? Well, it's not for me to threaten or me to cancel. The board had decided that uh, if we can't get in 50 games in the full playoffs that I was instructed to cancel it. Uh, today the determination was made uh, since the last day that we can get in uh, a 50-game regular season is January 16th, that if we don't have a deal by uh, Tuesday at noon, the season is canceled. In fact, the board decided to cancel the season effective Tuesday at noon, and there's nothing left for the board or me to do. Why now is the board willing to accept a deal without a luxury tax or a salary cap? Well, uh, everybody in that room, me including and especially, wants to play hockey. And uh, what we've proposed, we hope, addresses the concerns the players has have. It uh, has no tax. It has no cap. It provides arbitration. It has unrestricted free agency. Uh, as you heard at the press conference, there are a lot of owners who aren't thrilled with it. Uh, it wasn't everything they wanted. Uh, but this was an attempt to try and uh, salvage the season. Is there a house divided amongst the owners? I wouldn't call it a house divided. I think uh, we reasoned together, and the, uh, the partners uh, that constitute the 26 owners in the league uh, came to a reasoned judgment. What do you say to the players who say they, they weren't going to consider any other offers, they'd made their final deal? Well, I hope that they uh, take a look at it because uh, we think it uh, addresses their concerns as something that they can live with. Uh, the owners uh, have decided this is something that they could live with, even though it's not everything they want. Hopefully the players will decide that they want to play hockey and that they can live with it. Gary, thank you. We'll hear from you Tuesday. Thank you. Gary Bettman, the Commissioner of the League, and we'll have much more on today's developments from New York uh, in the second intermission. Right now, back to Ron McClellan.